Hi, my name is Rafi Talukter. I am a uh, hematology medical oncology fellow at the University of Washington Fred Hutchinson Cancer Center. And I am Dimitrios Makrakis. I'm a research fellow in the University of Washington. Uh, we work together in, in research in bladder cancer. Uh, we have a poster at ASCO GU Symposium 2022 that looked at the uh, time from the initiation of platinum-based chemotherapy to initiation of second-line immune sequence inhibitors for patients with metastatic bladder cancer. Uh, we did this analysis uh, to try and detect possible platinum resistance uh, in these patients and see if it would be associated with a worse response uh, to second-line checkpoint inhibitors. As we know, platinum platinum resistance, um, actually patients that have sensitivity to platinum are more susceptible to checkpoint inhibitors as well. So we wanted to use this as a surrogate this time uh, to check uh, our, for, for our patients and see if they will respond uh, to checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, we used a multi-institutional database. Uh, it's, it's a collaboration of 26 institutions so far. Most of them are in the US and we have many partners in Europe as well. Uh, we uh, identified 268 patients and I would like to go on and uh, give it to Rafi so he yeah. can give you the results. Thank you. Our results were pretty um, exciting. So when we did our analysis looking at six months, greater than six months compared to less than six months, there was no difference in objective response rate, overall survival, or progression free survival. But then we did a further analysis um, looking at um, time, to ice, uh, time to platinum to start of um, ICI therapy less than three months, uh, three months to six months, and then greater than six months. When we did that analysis, we showed that patients who started um, platinum, uh, platinum therapy and then second line ICI um, less than three months, they actually had a worse um, overall survival and progression free survival, even though the objective response rate was the same. You know, so these studies are interesting and it kind of verifies what we, what we show is that um, patients who unfortunately do not respond to platinum-based chemotherapies just have a, a more aggressive cancer and this could uh, potentially be a poor prognostic factor for these patients going on immune checkpoint inhibitors. Um, again, we'll need you know, more data, you know, um, also prospective studies looking at this as well you know, will be important to validate our results.